Look at my mullet, bro. But yeah, man, I, re I reckon we've covered it. What do you reckon, bro? Was that useful? Yeah, helpful? Yeah, no, that was actually very useful. Oh, what's up, guys? This is Eggs. <laughs> Don't know what that intro was, but yeah, you guys are about to watch me coach Path, who said that at the end of the session, which is quite nice. So let's get it. And yeah, he picked like 700 LP last season, EU West. Needed a bit of help in season 14, so I gave it to him. This is like pretty much the raw coaching session highlighted way. So yeah, if you do want more of these videos, leave a like down below and stuff, comment, questions, all that stuff, and make sure you hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you for watching it. And yeah, if you actually want coaching exactly the same as Path, there is my website, eags.gg. And we also have this session and probably close to like 900, maybe even pushing a thousand other coaching sessions on my patreon so you can get easier access to the sessions if you don't actually want like the one-on-one -on -one stuff but yeah thank you for watching guys don't be sure bye all right what happens here man so Jax is bought because already yeah. i see an opportunity here in the near future okay so cassio is pushed up there's a fresh wave there so all i'm thinking here because there's a fresh wave there path is like you can get there and potentially kill her see how she's gonna be there i know that's a standard minion wave yeah. so three minutes is standard 330 is standard and then four minutes is cannon that's important because if that's a cannon wave, you have more time. I actually think there's yeah. like potential for you to kill her there, but I just want you to like look at the lane and think if you are uh, can or not. Here you've just like defi or defaulted to walls, which I get it because you sequence them with Gromp. But yeah, obviously kills is like, you know, you could get 300 gold instead of 100. Your sequencing isn't going to matter too much if you can get a kill there. That yeah, makes sense. Like enough. when she pushes up now, you can press W and just fucking run at her. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. If she has flash, never fucking do it, obviously. But she doesn't, so. Um, another thing you can do here, because you see Jax with 20 CS and he's level 3. So after he gets that crab, right? Because he ganked before on 20 CS, he showed. So yeah. he still has one camp to do on his side, right? Do you see him moving here? Yeah. What's stopping so him from starting in his raptors? Bit. Exactly, right? So yeah. what's stopping him from starting raptors just like you? And you can take his raptors here for free. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're completely right. I guess there may be a little bit of a buffer delay if he did have red into Krugs, but still even Krugs is very free here. Yeah, Krugs is... I wouldn't go for Krugs. Um, I think it's way too much... Way too much time, like, to run all the way there just for, like, yeah, like a Krugs camp. Way. Because afterwards, you have to base and then run to your board side and your base doesn't look that interesting. So I, I would want it to be Raptor's path because you can quickly come back. Like, to me, that looks better because we're just thinking about gold over time, right? Yeah. So if you spend... Let's just say that is about, what, 15, 20 seconds, maybe? 15 seconds, at least? And then you've got to do the Krugs camp. All right, so let's add another 15, 20, right? So in 35 seconds, you get like 180 gold or something. In 35 right, seconds, yeah. like you're going to have done them and you're running back to your camps like this. That's in 35 yeah. seconds, right? So that might be like seven, eight seconds. Blow the camp in 15, that's like 23. We come back and at like 35 seconds, we'll be almost like, you know, going through mid to our Raptors. So, all right, in those 35 seconds, you got Krugs, but you have to base after that because Jax will recall and run here. You can never greed for these, right? So it's only Krugs and you're basing, which means like in a 60 second span at least, you're just getting Krugs. You're getting your Raptors after his and then these Krugs as well. You see that? Yeah. So like over, let's just call it 75 seconds or that period of time, you can do these three camps or at least these two. Yeah. Or you can just do Krugs into a base and your base is an amp tome and it just looks kind of shit. Yeah, true, yeah. Yeah, definitely check his raptors here, mate. Like, even if you put a, get a timer on them, you can put a ward down there as well. It might be useful in the near future. Yeah, sorry, I've just noted it down as well. <laughs> yeah, mate. I heard the typewriter uh, really... out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go, Path. Well, there's a crab ward there, so he's never getting through. Oh, never mind, we've won. All right, so this is what I mean, right? Before you go there, Path, you need to know you get a kill or not. Yeah. So why do you think there's a kill bot here, like after Raptors? Because uh, they shift up and they're fighting. So I really should have looked here to look at the HPs, but if we're looking at HP in regards to like Thrash, then someone else in that NAB should technically be low. But yes, I should have checked. Okay, so you say they're fighting. Everything's present tense, right? They're fighting, they're low, they're pushed up. Yep. You're not ganking right now. You need to see the yeah. map. You need a you need the picture like here path, right? This is not your map. Yeah. Even though it is at the moment, but you need to know that this is your map here. They're going to push the yeah. wave in, right? That's there, and they're going to back off a little bit. And if they're there on the next wave, then you can gank them, right? 
there has to be like a reason for them to be there, man. And Ash being full HP is not a reason. If they were both super low, like Ash and Thresh, even when the wave crashes path, they're probably still going to be there, right? Yeah, yeah. So this picture here, you have to see it here. So if I were you, I'd look at the lane, and if you ever see like, if you ever see like these two numbers, right? So this is 416. If these last two numbers on the game timer, man, are from like, I'd say like 10 to 20 seconds, or 40 to 50, it means that that wave that is there is really thinned out already. Because waves will arrive in lanes at 55 seconds or 25 right, seconds on the timer. Yeah. So, for example, that the first sense, wave in the yeah. game is 125, right? So that wave, even though it's probably like here at this point, a ranged mid laner can actually like thin it out already. And all of a sudden, it's fucking gone at 05. Like when it says 205, or like later in the game, this will matter, obviously, when they get more wave clear. Like 705, you look mid and you're like, oh, it's kind of like fresh. No, it's not. It's already gone. Yeah. Yeah. So this, like... 15, 4, 16, that's like 20 seconds after it's actually been there, right? And because they have prior, it's probably really thinned out. So you've got to try to, you've got to, try to think, man, like, am I ganking on waves? Just like I mentioned for Cassio being mid, yeah? There was a fresh wave there. So after you finished Gromp and came down, there's a fresh wave here. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, this is actually potential for you to gank. And they don't have sums. Oh, my God, man, look at this, bro. Like, there's no way they stay here. Why? Um, no mana on the Smolder and Janna um, is really low. Yeah, easy, right? If they stay, bro, they're, they're fucking, like, just drunk. And, like, this Jax here as well, you might think, oh, yeah, well, Jax being here, like, we should win this. Um, <laughs> But, like, this is the biggest coin flip shit I've ever seen. Bro, the Jax being here, you get Krugs, and you recall with a Blasting one, right? Or Amtone, Ruby Crystal, like, whatever the fuck you're buying. I don't even know anymore. Yeah. But you're running to Grubs, and he's still fucking sitting here. And you're, like, three camps on him. So it's always winning, right? So yeah, bro, I would just like leave this lane, do your Krugs into a base. Like this is, it, to me, like this just looks super fucking flippy. Jax is going out of base where? Yeah, we're going out of base at the top side. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing ping it, yeah? Path, I hope I see a ping. <laughs> this is really good uh, communication, by the way, telling Thresh to do this. This is great. Yeah, see what I mean here? So your Riven might get ganked here, Path. And in another matchup, where she's versing a set or a Darius, you get me? Yeah. She's going to get ganked and it, she's going to be like, what the fuck, bro? Like, here it is, see? I think, yeah. How, like, it is a thing, Path, right? You know where he's going, right? When I ask you. You've got to ask yourself, though, man, during the game. Because yeah. then you'll actually answer it. Like, the fact that you know exactly where he is probably for the entire game here, I think it's super fucking easy to track him. But your teammates are never going to know. Let's be fucking real. They can't even lane properly, so they're never going to think about jungles and where they're going to go. So you have to do that yeah. job, bro. Like, that is literally your job as a jungler, man. And now you lose grubs, right? Or you can't really contest them. Like, even here, man, I'd just go back to Gromp. Like, I don't even know. Like, why even click up here now? Like, she's 100% dead, right? Like, even here, you just go back when she's stunned. Maybe take one of the grubs if you had smart. I think that's smart. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Take the first one and that's it. But, like, all this clicking, man, you've got to make up your mind here. Like, this is not a play. How, how are you going to kill someone here? Like, you never one-shot the Jax, right, before he reacts. And the, the Malphite as well. They're too healthy. If they were both 200 HP yeah. path, you sitting in the brush, I completely agree with. Like, if Jax is 200 here, completely agree with you just sitting in the brush. Pink ward it to make sure, and just sit in there. You get a free kill. Yeah, so, so I'm just creating dead time here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just inefficient. It's gold over time, right? Yeah, but even still to do the Grom, it's like, mm -hmm. would have been, been better than this. Yep, and it would go something like this, right? So you go Grom pools, I'm pretty sure like 100%. You know what I mean? And then I would even get, I'd probably even get a free Drake because Jax yeah. would have done the grubs then. Anything, bro, like this, you know? Yeah. Bot kills are obviously best because they're like 600 gold potentially. His camps are also really good. You got Dragon. If you have Smite Path, you 100% do the first one. Well, bro, what is that pink? <laughs> path. Yeah, <it's> <laughs> bro, look at your round to grubs here. This is the most adventurous round I've ever seen, bro. <laughs> and then I was oh, here trying, we go. We're going to contest really, it. Because he gets yeah, it gets really, really low. I'm not sure. I've completely missed the cube, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's kind of... Like, you could always do this, though. You could always do this, sorry, mate, like, after Gromp, you know? Like, if you think he is yeah. trolling and still doing it, because... Did I say this earlier? Was it with someone else? No, it was with someone else. Yeah, like, when someone gets a kill, like, the Malphite, right? I'm guessing also that guy is TP'd. When he's, like, um... Whenever someone gets a kill path, like, in lane, what are they going to do? Like, what's a laner going to do very soon? 
Um, if he doesn't have TP to instant recall and TP back to lane, he has to uh, shove the wave. Right. Okay. I mean, he probably gets the shove anyways, actually, because yeah, they are very low. So they're yeah, pretty low. Yeah. Recall. They're yeah. pretty low, but like this next wave is too close to the tower, so this will collide like over here, right? So he's got to stay in lane for another yeah. two waves. So what I'm saying, man, is like whenever someone gets a kill in lane, it's actually the worst thing for you if you're looking to do something. So let's just say that Jax... How do I put it? Actually, let's just say that you were going to go to Grubs, right? And start them. Let's just say that Jax is just like clearing his camps, yeah? And you start the Grubs. Yeah. Let's just say that Riven killed the Malphite. It's actually like the worst thing that can happen. Because the Malphite's going to be back first. I don't think I've ever seen a laner like back, unless they actually have TP, but actually be back in time or before the enemy champion. So like when Riven dies here, the Riven is actually going to be on the map quicker, which is what I was saying. Like if you do Gromp and you think you can contest him, like go for it. Because the map has changed, right? Riven is now alive, full HP, having spent gold. The Malphite is still there. Yeah. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, it does, yeah. So just because he's dead here doesn't mean like you can't contest it. Like you can just do Gromp and afterwards you're like, wait, I 100% know this guy's on Grubs. I don't even need a ward here. Um, and yeah, like if he's smart as well, like knowing you've put a ward down, like there's no way you don't have an intention to contest him, right? Like you put that ward down for a reason. So if he's smart, he'll just do one and run out. Yeah, I mean, I knew Jax gets low off Grubs because I'd played the Jax before in the jungle. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of why you hovered a little bit, but you are right. It's still like kind of greedy because of the Malphite. Um, but lucky Silas did a good run. All right, so same thing again here, Path. Where is the Jax going to go after you kill him? He can either be an idiot to try and contest Raptors or he goes bot side. Uh, yeah. For Drake. I would, um, if I were you, bro, I'd never go to his Raptors here. I would, um, yeah, exactly. Like, I'm just thinking he's going to Dragon, right? Like his Raptors, think about this path, is the same thing, man. Gold over time. You can go to his Raptors or you can go to Gromp and Wolves. If you go to his Raptors, you've got to run all the way back, right, through your own footprints. Yeah. Which is kind of okay, I think, if you're going back to your bot side type thing like we talked about before. Like if you were going to gonna go like this out of base, let's just say that Jax dies or some shit randomly. I'm more than happy you going here. And you can even recall if you're on gold or you can just loop back like this rather than just going yeah. like that, that, that. It looks really weird to me. Yeah, yeah. So I just like going for his Raptors here just in my brain anyway doesn't really make much sense. I'd much rather you just clear like Rom to Wolves and then to Raptors. Yeah, just make sure you ping bot side, that's all. Yeah, nice. I'm I'm completely fine with you fucking clearing like this. You're level six already, man. What a broken champion. <laughs> the grubs, mate. Yeah, grubs are just yeah, legit or OP for that XP. I also can't believe you're going mid here. I I was asking him to be honest about uh, if Casadar, because I saw that bit and I didn't read. I I knew it was kind of Silas, but I was thinking if he's done it, is it because like Cas tried to engage? That's all you need to know, so, though, Path. Because yeah, so I, I, no I asked him. Yeah, so I asked him and was doing like a, a drive by. Mm. I just wouldn't even look here, man. Like, even if a fight breaks out, I fucking never want that because, um, never mind, this is good. Uh, but, like, you could have done your Raptors. Like, this can still work, you know? You can still be literally in the same position, but you're a rap Oh, nice. <laughs> right, that was perfectly predicted. <laughs> yeah, well, it's either I kill her or. Like, a lot of people do it, but it's like, I'm going to kill you anyway. It's like, I just mm -hmm. have to walk backwards and cut off your out and not get caught in the ult, so. Yep. If I were you, I would, like, after Wolves are here, I would just go to Dragon and Water. And if he's on it, you beat the fuck out of them, right? Bot lane's full HP, Silas is full HP, even though he has no R, he can do something. You have ult, Jax is only going to be level 5. Yeah? And then if a yeah. fight here happens, but, like, you can go there. Bro, you, like, you'll be in exactly the same position, right? I reckon he's on Dragon, by the way. The Janna just, like, moved there to Ward or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, you ganking like this, man, and with the, the with the play top lane when Jax ganks, it's like you're really putting your eggs in one basket when we always want to be doing, like, two things. That's jungling as if there were no laners, but when a laner is killable, we're there for them. So you yeah. could be in the same position after taking care of Jax on Dragon. Yeah, I think that's why I like really like playing around my ult, especially as Evelyn, because like Evelyn ult is a very big tool. So it's kind of like what you end up playing around for the yeah. kills, um, just because obviously the execute on it is really, really nice. Yeah, of course. So your ult's going to be everything. Like, I really wouldn't fight without it unless you know exactly where enemy jungle is. Basically, path like jungling, I've been explaining to people recently. Like, for me anyway, jungling is. 
you do this to lanes. Yeah. <laughs> not not like literally, because obviously like lanes are really important still. But the foundation to like where you go on a mini map is dictated by junglers, right? So what information do you yeah. get from Jax? And then like what camps are up and time is in the top right. Like what does five minutes mean? What does six forty five mean? That's first buff, etc. You have to know like what that represents, just like we do for Baron at twenty minutes. Like you have to have the same there has to be a resonance between the time and like what it, you know, means in terms of a resource. So if we uh if we like look at this situation here, let's just play this out and let's keep that on the minimap. So let's cancel out like all the lanes. So if you jungle here, right, and we don't see anyone, mm. and you know the Jax is pathling bot, I think it's even more obvious now, Path, after wars, you just go War Dragon. Yeah. If you're playing a 1v1, right? And then if I was to ask you, well, does that stop you from ganking mid? So if we play this out, skipping it five seconds, now we're like walking through Raptors, you know, past the camp now. Now we're moving towards Dragon. Now we're outside like the red buff brush. Now we've just warded it. Can you not? Like, you'd be in exactly the same position, right? Yeah. So I think it's like a really important learning, man, because how you have like almost jungled so far, it's almost like you don't think about Jax at all. I think anyway. Like, he shows bot with 20 CS. That means he's got one more camp to do. Take his Raptors if he started there. If he hasn't started there, fine. You get a timer. You can put a ward down and come back to yours. You're not losing anything. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you did the top crab. You're almost pathing back anyway. And then when he dies bot or whatever the fuck happened, you know he's going to run to his Krugs, but you don't actually think about it. So I think you play the game, and it's kind of incredible that you're, like, this high, like this. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas, like, if you uncover that, bro, it makes your life so much easier to make decisions. I don't know if you saw that tempo course I did. Did you see that, or...? Yeah, yeah, I, I've been watching them all, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mate, I was just making sure. You better have liked it, obviously. No, I'm joking. But yeah. <laughs> um, if you're the if you're the Jax here, right, just play for Jax for me path, okay? Yeah. Right, so I'm Jax. Fucking, let's go. Right, okay, and he escapes here, I'm guessing, so he flashes over the wall. Right, I'm Jax here. That will dictate your tempo, okay? So you know he's based essentially. Yep. And he's running... Well, he has based. I thought he died. But he's based and he's running to his crux. You ask yourself, in terms of tempo this is, look at the map from his perspective. Because from my perspective, when I play as you here as Evelyn, I think about his side more than yours. I think your side's fucking easy. I think about what his camp situations are, right? What does his map say? So if you're playing as Jax, it's like, well, I just saw the Evelyn bot side and she's got a 32 CS, so she's done to so she's done one more camp. Oh, she must have started Raptors. I reckon she's gonna go back to her Krugs here as well. So in that time, can I maybe I can sneak the grubs while she's doing that? Wow, what about if I ran straight to grubs here? What about our top side? Now probably top side's a little bit late, I think, especially if she got dark seal. So I reckon that's like 5 30 her top cancel spawn. You see what I mean? That's what should be going through his head, bro. Yeah. So that, that's what you've got to counter when you jump. That's what you've got to think about, man. Like, what does his map look like? Your map is fucking easy. And it lies to you a lot, by the way, about their camps. Like, his camps are not like that. Frogs are spawned and Raptors are spawned. That's it. That's all he has. Yeah. But when he knows your bot side here with Krugs to farm, I would be pinging like fucking crazy at his Krugs, and I'd be question marking out of base like the Grubs. Maybe he's going to queue over the wall on his trinket and take one. You even you even told me, mate. Like, what should what is Jax probably going to be thinking here? What do you reckon? Yeah, bot size, uh, Drake, yeah, that kind of like area. I'd be thinking about that first. I want to go out to in. Dragon's going to be there if I take your bot side. I'll be more fed for Right, him. yeah. Now, to be honest though, in this game, because he is behind you, he should probably just take like Dragon ASAP because there's no guarantee he gets like your whole bot side and stuff. So yeah. he should probably just take this. But in another game, man, like you're going to lose camps just by doing or like not thinking about this stuff, okay? So you've got to know what his next move is. Way too many junglers are just asleep at the wheel. And even, you know, like when it's so obvious and even here, Path, like you tell me exactly where he's going to go. It's like natural to you in a way. You don't do it in game, man. Like I don't give a fuck if you tell me, honestly. I'm not one of your teammates. We can't like rewind time. Yeah. So like imagine if, I don't know, Riven was listening to this and she'd be like, wow, that would have been really helpful, man. Like, I can't do all that. I can't jungle track like that. Yeah. So yeah, know their next move, okay? So yes, he's dead. Let's go with one. No, 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 no. Keep your foot down, bro. Do not fucking let up. So yeah, War the Dragon, that's his counterplay here. I wouldn't be surprised if it just says, like, enemy team is slain Infernal Dragon. He is bot side, though, so he just decided to do his counts, which is kind of weird. So, yeah. Do Krugs here, no? Sequence or not? Yeah. You've got no all here path. Oh, my <laughs> God. 
Yeah, yeah. this is one of this um, is exactly the same, mate, as before. There is no way I'd be doing anything else here but just Krugs after this, and then I would do red. Yeah, and then by me hovering, I actually ended up into like the bottom because yeah, I do admit like because I hovered, they were encouraged to go in, and because they encouraged to go in, they just didn't didn't play. But like that's obviously on me for giving them the false information of what I wanted to do. Right. So if I was coaching Thresh, right, or Ash, I'd be like, guys, your Evelyn here doesn't have ult, okay? And you know the Jax is bought with R. This Evelyn as well is on 1,200 gold. Guys, if you just let her go Krug's red buff and she has 1,450 gold and she spends it on God knows fucking what, she's probably going to end the game for you pretty quick. You don't have to fight right now. Get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. If they knew that, yeah, yeah, man, right. like, they're probably not going to do it, Path. And that, that is 100% good, man. Like, Tell me a situation where like doing this doesn't work. Can you think of one? Frog <laughs> sequence of raptors into red, and then what? Maybe you can drop a ward down here? Where did you ward? Are oh, you warded here for Cassio? Yeah, but anyway, you get my point, yeah, yeah. right? Bro, you just basing after that and spending that gold, and you can think of doing anything topside but blue, and then gromp afterwards, maybe. You know what I mean? All you do, bro, at this point, when you're this far ahead, is you, you just play that. You haven't yeah. told me that, but you're not doing it here. So I'm confused. <laughs> I think one of the things this season, maybe just from like tilt, is... I'm being very aggressive. Uh, I have noticed that. Uh, I what does that mean? Sacrifice, like I'll sacrifice too much to try and make stuff happen. Right. So you're, so you're deciding to gank lanes that aren't killable. That's essentially what you're telling me, right? Yeah, pretty much. I do admit I'm doing that recently. Lots of people say like passive aggressive is just um no offense path. Like it's just a lot of fucking rubbish. Like people talk about the proactive reactive stuff, right? Fucking yeah. everything's a reaction, man. And, and reactive versus proactive, they're not like antonyms, you know what I mean? They're not, um, what'd you call it, like opposites of one another. Like proactive? What's the opposite of being proactive? Well, not proactive. <laughs> yeah, just fucking inactive, right? <laughs> inactive, yeah. <laughs> These are both reactions. So your reaction here is proactive in the sense that proactive, we relate it to champion versus champion, right? PvP. Inactive is where you go PvE. Yeah, you farm camps. Yeah. But and, bro, and like, that, they're both fucking that... active because you're getting gold. It's gold over time. Yeah. Proactive is around this. You're being inactive if you're the jacks at level four sitting in a fucking brush on like, you know, a thousand gold and it's four and a half minutes and you've got a jungle item. What a waste of time. Like that is yeah. the definition of being inactive. But Path, you doing this and this is being proactive. The Jax is wasting time. You literally just pinged them off and they responded to you. But it's like you're just making sure. Nah, 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 nah. Just farm these. Just do this. Yeah. Just maybe do this if you want to. Depends on lanes, but you can always just recall and run like that. Back to blue. Go yeah. on walls. Oh my, like fucking GG. Yeah, to be fair, I saw the recall in the mm. invade angle when watching this replay again. Like... <laughs> Does that make sense though, bro? Like, because it's all mindset, man. Like, especially at your level, I've coached so many like master players and their brains are just like fried because they overthink things. The game is fucking gold. How do we tell who's fed? You press tab. Who's got the most items? Yeah. That's it. That's all your job as a jungler, man. Like, you help your team the most when you are getting gold over time. If you don't think you can kill someone, look at your camps. Look at their camps. Oh my, oh my goodness me. Look at this, bro. Yeah, and this is what I mean. This is to, even though, it, like, obviously it's him that's in the bad flash. It's still a reaction caused by me being there. So I understand that that is my fault in that sense. Here it is, mate. Right, so here we go, Path. What info do we have about you and everyone else? We need like all the champions' info here. What info do we have? Tell me about you first of all. Uh, well, I don't have all. Right. Otherwise, I'm healthy. No, ah. Uh... Okay, so you're full HP, yeah, good. HP, yeah. 100%, yeah, good. Well, are they for me, or...? Yeah, have you. Uh, I've got Smite up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got Smite, that's uh, big. Uh, 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 that can make differences there, you know. <laughs> that is big, yeah. We're going to gank because we have uh, the Smite advantage. <laughs> yeah, okay, though. Uh, they don't know I'm there. Uh, obviously, they might think I'm there, but they don't know I'm there. I'm All right, okay, I kind of get you. Yeah, a bit of... Okay, a bit of, bit of fog. We're in fog or whatever, yeah. okay. What's another yeah. like big thing though, man? I look at something on your screen here and I'm like, holy shit, like you could probably just make the same play after doing something. 
if you really wanted to make the play anyway. Like, you can make this a stronger play by doing something. Well, like around my gold. Look at your gold, man. Yeah. Holy shit. Bro, make this with Sorks. Make this, like, what would you buy here? Let's just say you had 1,400 yeah, after these two. I do, I, I, do, I do like if I can get an early Sorks. So Sorks, and like, then what else would you get? Map. So if you've got 1,400... Uh, I'm, I'm torn as well. Well, I don't know, because I wouldn't, but if I did my red Krugs, I would have. Um, so another Amtome. Yeah. You got two? So two Amtomes and Sorks. And you can kill them, bro. Like, after you just go something like this, maybe. Yeah. You know, just kill them then. Well, like, why do we have to do it now? It's like, I see this so much, man, where you're like, oh my god, they're low, I have to gank them now. Think about the level 4 play path. Here's another opportunity for you. And if they're sitting under their tower playing passive as fuck, you're scaling anyway. Yeah. You're still chilling. You don't have to justify your existence, man, as a good jungler by getting fucking kills. You do it by getting gold. I've had games yeah, yeah. where, like, 10 minutes, bro, especially because I play Shaq, and, like, <laughs> even you, Path, right? Like, um, oh, care of his early ganks and shit, where I'm like, bro, I can't get any kills. Like, I, I honestly don't think I can. And at 10 minutes, like, the score is 1-1. One to one. Yeah. But I'll have 80 CS. That's the same as me having 50 CS, but maybe, like, 2-3 kills. Same goal. Yeah, yeah. Dollar signs, bro. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I don't mean to be toxic, but I hope they fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know Jax is went after Drake. So. Oh, here we go, mate. Oh, nice, Jana. What is she doing, bro? I think that was actually a good play because you give time for Jax exactly what they said to back off, right? So I'm actually pleased with that play, but that's come after like you know, three bad dominoes path. Yeah. For the first domino. Yeah, the it, first it, mistake. It just makes them one for one at the end of the day. Yeah, the first um, like the first mistake, man, is going to lead to like others, but they're only mistakes because you fucked up. Like they just happen naturally in a way, right? Yeah. Let's do your red buff here, like here. Do you see him come around the corner? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw him on the bush. Yeah. So, and then uh, it also means I'm in a reaction time for Drake as well, if needs be. Mhm. Mm yeah, I would never respond to Dragon here though, because look at your gold again. Oh yeah, Ash no smite, facing... no ult. Yeah, it looks shit. Alright, Path, are you sure you want to base? You don't want to gank bot or anything? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go, bro. <laughs> oh, this is it. The funny thing is, man, right? You would be in exactly the same position with Sorks and an Amptome. Yep, <laughs> literally. Like, if you go top here and you're like, oh my god, he started Dragon, you could even take his top side and come back to yours because Grubs will respawn at maybe like 10 minutes in this yeah. game. Obviously, please know the timers, okay? So if you clear them at 9.10 or 6.10, sorry, type in chat or say aloud to yourself 10.10. Um, so yeah, mate, like you could be in exactly the same position with Sorks and other Amptome, and oh my goodness, look at this guy. Use your Ajax. Be a good guy. Yeah, now you're like silent. Look at this, bro. Oh my. Oh, check the brush, Jana. Yeah, it's really flippy, man. <laughs> I mean, it works, but uh, to be fair, I was waiting for the Ash ult for ages. Like, absolutely ages. Um,. Yeah, but, no, yeah, that's I've, obviously I think like, this that's... is the most flip shit I've ever seen. Oh yeah, my yeah. goodness. Can you see why it's flip path as well? Like how we've looked at this game? Yeah, I do, yeah. Like, your Ash is not even there. There's a fucking random fight mid instead of them like helping the Jacks. Alright, so when is Grubs here? I'm guessing they'll be very soon. Yeah, yeah, recall, I think. Yeah, recall's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh so my god, the Magi's man, what a toxic buy. That mouthbite's worth 200 uh, gold you've lost. Yeah. <laughs> and he's full armor, so I just one shot him there. You know, like, do a grub or two here. You've got smite. Mouthbite's going to base as well. You see him run off into, like, top rush. you got prior midfield. Yeah, I, I, I kind of thought about this to myself as well when I was doing the blue. Uh, direct two grubs with the prior. Can you see, um, so what I was just said there, Path, as well, I was like, bro, if you do one grub, I reckon that's maybe, like, I don't actually know 100%, right? But I reckon you do one. Maybe you can do all of them. But anyway, just start with one. And even if you get one, you come back to Blue Grand Pools, Raptors, Krugs. And you're pathing towards the, the lane you care about. Yeah. So while you're here, just start with Grubs. You go out to in, right? Because what's stopping the Jacks from being a fucking coin flip artist? Which is what he is. And doing the Grubs right now. Nothing, right? And if he takes one or two, you'll be like, shit. Why am I farming my camps? Like, your camps are still here. 
If you take one grub, like, honestly, man, you'd fucking take all three here, I reckon, in this game. I think he's way too yeah. scared to, like, come in here. There he is, see? I told you. Look at him go, bro. <laughs> yeah, and now, you see how you give him time for Malphite? Yeah. Yep, and now, like, you don't get them, so now he gets all three. And, yeah, you don't have all. and if it's a shutdown, it's a fucking FF. Oh, into the mouth. Well, I mean, part. he gets... Yeah, yeah. For, and... But this doesn't have to happen, was... though, mate. And if he decides to fight you, bro, after you've taken two grubs... Yeah? He can just give the third away. Yeah, exactly. You just yeah, run off. Easy. You just run off, man. Like, if I'm that Jax, if... um, And, and maybe that will be another champion, right? Like, fucking their top planer. Maybe, like, some sort of scaling 1v9 Fiora-type champion. I think you're going to do the same stuff against those champs, and it will be more detrimental. Now, now, like, your camps as well, right? Like, one death, man, it means you can't go blue gromp walls into Raptors Krugs. It means you can't use your ultimate as much as possible because, you know, you're obviously dead. Yeah? Yeah. And so it's quite, like, an annoying time in the game here, man, honestly. Raptors first, eh? I would have gone, like, Krugs. Krugs, Raptors, right? Because then you yeah, can still get a Grubs about... path. Yeah. Please don't ping ward. Yeah, nice. Oh, here we go. No ult on him. Wah! Get him, Path. Nice, man. Um, Yeah, what was I going to say? Yeah, so just Krugs Raptors, mate. You'll probably still make that play, right? Whether it's that wave or the next one, he's still going to run it down. But your Krugs yeah. are, like, just sitting there now. Uh-huh. Yep, 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 yep. Into what? A base here, McBase? Never mind. We're going mid. Oh, my God. Well, this guy probably has his ult back up, right, Path? And you don't have yours. Look yeah, at this, yeah. man. Look at this, bro. You, you, I swear, like, you want to gank more without R than you do with R. It's like you're trying to, like, do a challenge. There's, like, a challenge on the client. Gank without your ultimate as much as possible. That's quite true. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, and he has R. What, uh, bro, you guys are all the same. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, mate. The Thresh, bro. Yeah, you even type, but you even said, man, he has R, and you've still gone here. Oh, my, just base and go Krugs. <laughs> Then I, I think that's the annoying bit is even in game I've got like everything we've kind of discussed I've more or less got that same mm. information in the game but I just don't um, use it you know what I mean yeah yeah oh my look bro this is the funniest fucking clip I've ever seen you've gone from Gromp <laughs> all the way here uh, it gets even better if you wait a second. Imagine someone watching this and seeing your name as well. The path to do this. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of just that. Yeah. Um, oh man, this is it. this is quality. All right, here he yeah, is. Right, he has I, no I, R I, now. I, I... <laughs> yeah. I'll get him. No R on the boy. He's got his flash though. Look at him. He's lining it up. Yeah, nice. I saw that a little bit of extra damage there, Path, uh, to make sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's not even that as well. I kind of wanted to greed mm. it a little bit. If he did, like, uh, if he didn't have Fash, if he started wargunning, yeah, yeah. directed or whatever, but because of that risk of him flashing out, I'll just use my own. As if do you that. don't do drag straight away here, by the way, look. I can't believe yeah, you don't do drag. Dead. Yeah, like, after Raps is fine, but like now. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Cast no TP. Even if Malph has TP, right? Who gives a shit? Yeah? Look at yeah, that, yeah. man. Oh, my. What a nice guy. Nice one, Riven. Oh, here we go. We've got him. Oh, that was a nice Q, man. Yeah, good flash. Oh, next wave as well. Fuck yeah, get that shit. <laughs> it's actually probably a troll fuck <laughs> you doing this. I did this with... Uh, um, uh, I did this with uh, some... I think... Uh, who is it? Oh, who's the... It's like a gamer girl. It might actually be his or her like Twitch thing. It's like a challenger cat in North America. And I did this in one game. Um, and the enemy like like if Malphite has TP here because I don't know if he does or not. But you're obviously trolling I, right, by shoving the wave. Yeah, no, it was completely trolled by shoving the wave. Yeah, I you just go do rift I, or I, drag. I, Probably riff, right? Yeah, I, I started shoving it, thinking oh, I'll get this wave, and then I went, "What the fuck am I doing? I know he's right here." Yeah, and no. then guess what? There, there he is. It's still, <laughs> and it's I'm still like, not bad. Now, so. <laughs> yeah, it's still not bad, bro. Just because, um, like, you're, none of your champions are getting that. So the only person who's going to get that wave is you. But just be careful, like, oh, if Riven's running so out of base or something. So bad of me. Like, I, I, look I, at your gold, I need man. I, 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 I know. I need reported for this play, especially. Like, I don't have ult neither. 
I don't want to say general stuff, but I, I legit think if you don't have R, man, you just don't go to any lane. I think you'll win fucking 25% more games. Yeah. Honestly. Um, yeah, instead of shoving mid, just go to uh, Rift Herald and do it. <laughs> yeah. I think bot lane's too difficult. With Malphite out of base, potentially running that. I mean, maybe you can actually do the Drake. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'd trust you winning a 3v3, though. He probably still doesn't have... It, it, it all comes down to Malphite's R if he has it or not. What do you reckon? Yeah, he, he does. He's been two deaths since... Mm. Well, no. Use the R, then he farmed up a few waves, so he's had, like, a good minute there, and then... Then you he killed him. killed him right before yeah. he's all came up, yeah, so... Yeah, I think Riftel's the easy one, because Silas has, like, prior there. So, like, now maybe you've done it or something? Yeah. I can't believe you do this, bro. Like, you can just do your top camps into a recall, and you just run the dragon. Look how juicy yeah. that is. This is just insane. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll be honest. This is like the playstyle I've got myself in there, and I don't know why. Why, though? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. All right, ult for ult. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Free ult. <laughs> got the <laughs> yeah, R, but like, we've lost Dragon. Got the, uh... Gold yeah. over time path. You know, like, there goes Drag, see? Yeah. I'm not saying, like, you would have got dragged before, right? Like, but at least you get fucking rift held earlier. And now you're running out of base with, like, God knows what item you have. Just quicker, right? Just quicker, man. Just quicker. Like, you could have yeah. 116 here. Yeah. But you got a, you got a, you got a pointless R. Like, it's going to be up soon before you fight anyway. So who cares? Doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I've got myself into this very aggressive player style. Um... Trading one for one is so good for them. Oh my god. It's actually fine her dying there if she like kills someone. Holy shit. Oh, no, oh please, don't do it. Okay, wave is fine, wave is fine. What the fuck, man? Yeah, bro, this, this looks so like, uh, if I versed you, bro, and I saw this Janna doing this, I'd just be like, what the fuck's going on? Like, I'm getting wind traded like, by that she person. She is... Yeah, she was. Clear. I, I, I'm pretty sure the smolder is in one of these bushes. Rift, I'm pretty man. sure he's in rift. that bush right next to me. Oh, the rift path, because they just got dragon, right? So I know you killed the cast, but it was one for one, and she just trolled. But you can get rift right. on top of it, you know. Yeah. And a free tower, so I think you should definitely drop it there and just max out the gold on that side of the map. Even after that, bro, I wouldn't even fucking begrudge you just doing your top cans, because the next objective you probably want to play for, right, is that dragon, which might be like 20, 21 minutes. Like, I would actually, like, max out my fucking gold there, and your, your ult will still be on cooldown, you get me? So if you get that top yeah. tower of Rift, and then you come back to your top side, even though it's 15 seconds away, bro, you get all that gold and max out your next base, like, oh my god. You'll be so fed. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't kidding. See, you know that bush I call against, um, mm -hmm. I was right up against recalled. Smold was in that bush. Wait, serious? Yeah, what did you not see? Did you not see it come out of the bush right there? Look, what here? Yeah, look. <laughs> oh, yeah, what so the fuck? She's in that bush. <laughs> so look at the map here, <laughs> bro. That's crazy. What the hell? The Thresh was pinging as well. <laughs> like he was there, or like Thresh is pinging your rift tone, Maybe I don't even know. He, he, he was pinging after because she used an ability, I believe. Yeah, right. I, yeah, yeah. I, I had to go into the replay to see this because I was like, "Where the fuck?" Did... I was like, "Did she actually do that?" And I was like, "I had to go and watch the replay." And yeah, yeah that's she a bit just worse. sat there because she was tilted at the Janna. <laughs> that like, blamer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right, here we yeah, go. I this looks all right because we've got max gold spent with our R. Oh my god, that ult. I, I wasted R though. Look at the ult here, path. You saw the X, mate. You just saw the X is just instinctive. Yeah. X is just, ah, oh, nice thresh. I don't think he should fly ever again. I don't think he should actually skill it. <laughs> <laughs> now he's yeah. put up the FF, bro. Oh, fuck. I love these fucking players. Yeah. All right, drop the rift. Here we go. Waiting is fine because cast might move up, right? So next wave is actually fine, Puff. Just please drop it after Raptors, please. Right, that's what I mean, bro. So what are you holding on to rift for? Yeah. Is there a reason? No, not really. I could have just dropped it mid as soon as um, I saw Cass on the map. Do you think about it or not? 
I didn't in this case, no. Okay. It makes sense to you, though? Yeah, like, you can say that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm missing opportunities. Yeah. yeah. But don't worry, oh, yeah, I need to get this tower or this. Obviously, the mid-tier one is the best. Because it's the hardest to get, so it is the best for you. But, um, gold over time, bro. That's all I want you to think about. But, yeah, man, I, re I reckon we've covered it. What do you reckon, bro? Was that useful, yeah? Helpful? Yeah, no, that was actually very useful. So, uh, no, I really, I found this really, really helpful, actually. Very helpful.